I leveled up. You should probably use that. I want more attack power. I miss it. Okay. I want to be able to kill stuff faster. Actually, you know, there's no point. I was gonna go back and save, but there's not really a point, so I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, wait. Talk to you guys again. We're still a little shook up, but I think we'll be fine. I just need to sit here for a while. <laughs> My leg still hurts. You should get to safety when you can. I cleared out quite a few monsters on the way in, but you never know when they'll be back. Did one of those monsters hurt you? Well, I mean, not exactly. This old lug twisted his ankle running away from those monsters. Nice of you to stick around to protect your poor old wife. I was running to get help. Yeah, lots of help in the tool shed, I'm sure. What, you got a little army hiding in there? Maybe I should go. Oh, no, please don't get the wrong idea. I still love my husband, even if he is a coward. Bah! Oh, by yourself. Isn't that a happy marriage? Let me guess, you have eight million children. <laughs> okay, moving on. Shop's restocked! Well, I'm here to a village. Maybe that means there's a shop. Aurora Village. I have a feeling this is gonna be like my center base of operations for at least a while. Okay. I imagine that this is gonna involve a lot of talking. Maybe I'll pick up some like quests and stuff. It's like a quest hub. Hold it right there. Uh, are they gone? I don't hear anything. If you're referring to the giants, I took care of them. They're dead? Yep. Thoroughly expired. They were no match for us. There's an older couple back there that could use some help, though. That must have been Oneida and her husband, Gian. Thank you. I, we'll send help right away. So you're saying you just happened to show up at the right time, huh? I suppose. Interesting coincidence. If you're suggesting I had something to do with this attack... Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I, I have to apologize for my big friend, Caleb, here. We're just a little overwhelmed, is all. What's been happening here? I guess you missed the endless hordes of bloodthirsty monsters on your way in? They used to stay in the mountains, away from the village. Now, they're attacking us on a daily basis. No one's been hurt yet. Uh, at least not until today. If giants are showing up near Oneida's farm, things are far worse than we thought. Speaking of which, where exactly do you come from? There's nothing west of here except crazy old Korra. We're, uh... Prospectors! We are prospectors! And we're out on an excavation to find, uh, ore deposits in the mountains. You know, gold, silver, um, manganite. Prospectors, eh? <laughs> You're certainly well armed for the job. Like you said, there are a lot of monsters out there. <sighs> well, we're indebted to you either way, so go on through. But I'm watching the two of you. Please, make yourselves at home. Uh, my name is Bean. There's not much here, but we do have a merchant if you need supplies. Thank you. We'll be on our way then. <laughs> well armed. Being one magic sword. One magic talking sword. Thanks so much for your help. Please, make yourselves at home. How are you two holding up? Don't worry about us. I'm in no rush to take on a giant, but I think we're in the clear. Talk to the suspicious hey, ass again. Interesting outfit you're wearing. Oh, you're one to talk. Can your friend even see from under that hat? He can see everything. It's spooky, really. No reason to get defensive. Just trying to help. <laughs> Thank you for making that. Thank you that somebody made the comment about the hat. The hat that makes him so mysterious. Prospectors, 
fidgets, that was the best thing you could come up with? It was the first thing that popped into my head. It's not like you had anything better. Come on, let's get away from these guards. All right, Ara. Where to now? You're right where you need to be. The answers to your identity lie somewhere in this village. I know this place, and that's for certain. I'm sure I've been here before, but nobody seems to recognize me. And you, in turn, do not recognize them. Yet I feel there is something here that may yet trigger your memory's return. Maybe we should look around for a bit, then? If you really have been here before, maybe somebody will recognize you. That is a good idea, Fidget. Let us meet with the townspeople. I am certain that the next step of your journey will reveal itself in time. Very well. But something... something here is making me uneasy. Like the calm before a storm. Quest updated. I imagine my new quest objective is talk to everyone. So there's gonna be a lot of conversations going down. Why, hello there! I'm always thrilled to see a new face, even when it's all covered up like yours. Indeed. I'm vaguely Australian. Well, my name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Hiya! Don't mind Mr. Grumpy. He's not big on the whole eye contact thing. Fidget and Dust, eh? Not from around here, are you? Well, neither was I originally, but this is a nice little place, if you're not in a hurry. Uh, you know, I couldn't tell. Manners? I'm Augustine, local strongman. Say... You want to arm wrestle? Uh, some other time, perhaps. We're just passing through. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Thought you looked like the arm wrestling type. You know, I heard what you did back there for Oneida. Great stuff. Maybe we can help each other out? Maybe. What did you have in mind? I have an old friend. A blacksmith. Lives way up at the top of Archer's Pass. I promised I'd deliver some materials to him way back when. But haven't been up that way in ages. Area's pretty dangerous these days, if you ask me. Maybe you could deliver them for me? Tell you what, if you help me out, I'll give you this blueprint. If you give it to him along with these spare materials, he'll set you on your way right quick. A blacksmith that can craft items from blueprints? I think I'll take you up on that, Augustine. Wow, that's great! I knew I could count on you! When you see him, just tell him that old Augustine says hello. Well, I know where I'm going first! Talk to you again. I'll be honest, there ain't a whole lot here. But you find a shop near the east entrance. Thanks, Augustine. Maybe we'll drop by. Alright, no extra XP for me. But at least I know where I'm going first! I want a blacksmith! Well, why don't you, don't you look pompous? Jess? Uh, good morning? Hmm. Is it though? I... well, I guess? He guesses. Wonderful. Well, perhaps you can guess that I really don't want to talk such drivel right now. Go, scurry off and leave me be. You're a prick, but talking to you got me a level, so I don't care. <laughs> yes, he's 58! 30 points up. Yeah. That's beefy. Okay. There's treasure here? Hey! You got a quest! Hello! I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the west. Oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about! Everyone's You're a talking? lavender buddy. Of course! You're the one who saved Oneida! Uh, my name is Mosca and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Oh god, I have a fanboy. Hey, are you, uh, are you staying long? I don't know. Why do you ask? Well... If you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I I've been meaning to visit someone in Denham. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. Well, surely she's worth the danger. Oh, she is! She definitely is. I just... I, I want to make sure she's okay. 
with all these monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much! You're great! You're really, really great! And here I am, just looking for a save point. I'm just looking for a save! Bloody save! Uh, as a treasure chest, but I used all my keys for Happy Square! Damn it! <laughs> oh. Oh well. Ooh, who are you? You. What happened to your shirt? Perfect. Um, thanks. Not you. Listen. Do you hear it? Can you hear its whispers locked within? Within the box. My box. I what are you? Don't hear anything. Well, of course you don't. My box has been lost. Somebody must have stolen it. Perhaps it was that Mosca fellow. He's always averting his gaze from me. Like he's hiding something. Probably his distaste for your nuttiness. I can hear I whispers coming from below. Down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box and return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. Okay, Reed. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. Crazy box man. You shall be called Crazy Box Man for the rest of the game. Oh, my box. Where's my box? Do you have my box? I must have it back. Find it, please. Box man. Hi there. Well, hello. Uh you're a quiet one. Just manners. You'll have to excuse him. He's a bit worn out, saving the village and everything, you know? Yes, I heard something about that. Ah, yes. Well, good. Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. I... And there's nothing we can do about it. Excuse me. You broke him, redhead! <laughs> you broke dust! <laughs> See if we can try this again. I didn't introduce myself before. My name is Dust, and my companion here is Fidget. Hello again. Dust? Really? Is something wrong? No, I I'm sorry. It's just an interesting name. I'm Ginger. Oh, and about those people you saved. Yes? Well, that was a noble thing to do. So thank you. I got extra XP for that. Sweet. That's why it's worth it. She's a cheerful one, huh? A bit of gratitude might have been nice. What kind of a bratty... Hey, ease off, Dust. She looked like she was pretty depressed. I... I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, Fidget. I, I don't know what came over me just then. Come on, let's keep moving. Okay, two things. I don't think they expected me to have that second conversation right then. And two, I suddenly get the feeling that before I lost my memory, I was a dick. <laughs> That's usually the case though, isn't it? You got amnesia! Well, you used to be an asshole. Now you have the chance to not be an asshole. Because you obviously can't stop being an asshole while you've got your memory! Why would you do that? I still have to find that save point. Hey! Treasure chest! Damn it! Oh, hi. You're new. Are you travelers? Maybe God, you're you can cute. help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. 
I'm really getting worried about him. Johnny, who's Johnny? Oh, Johnny's that asshole! The snooty one with the mustache. Alright, what's down here? Hey, it's same! And no! A word of advice. Okay, so there's obviously maybe another cage in town somewhere? Alright, well, I'll go looking for that next time, I think. Okay, that's it for a bit of today. I'll finish up the rest of the conversations and such next time so you guys don't all have to uh, deal with them all in one go. Alright, so that's it for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll be back again with more dust.